Hello, in this video we're going to talk about cyclic functions and functional equations. So to introduce you to the idea of cyclic functions, let's just start from two examples. So the first example is um, a function from all real numbers except for 0 to all real numbers that is given by f of x plus 2 f of 1 over x equals x squared plus 1. And the question is asking us to find f of x. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in different values of x and then see if I can find f of 1, f of 2, f of 3, and so on. Let's plug in x equals 1. So you get f of 1 plus 2 f of 1, 1 over 1, which is 1, equals 2. And from here we can get f of 1. So f of 1 is going to be 2 thirds. Plug in 2, you get f of 2 plus 2 f of 1 half is equal to 5, 2 squared plus 1. In order to find f of 2, I need f of 1 half, but I don't have f of 1 half. Let's plug in x by 1 half and let's see what we get. We get f of 1 half plus 2 f of 1 over 1 half, which is 2, and that gives us 1 fourth plus 1, which is 5 fourth. So at this point, you may get disappointed because in order to find f of 2, you need f of 1 half. In order to find f of 1 half, you need f of 2. However, this is in fact good news, not bad news. We have an e a system of equations, two equations and two unknowns. So one of them is f of 2 plus 2 f of 1 half equals 5. And the other one is f of 1 half plus 2 f of 2 equals 5 fourth. And I can simply solve the system of equations. So if you multiply the second one by 2 and subtract from the first one, 2f of 1 half cancels. We get 3f of 2 on that side, on the left. And on the right we get 5 halves minus 5, which is negative 5 halves. So that gives us f of 2. So f of 2 becomes negative 5 over 6. Um, can we replicate this for x equals 3? Let's try that. So if we plug in x equals 3, we get f of 3 plus 2 f of 1 third. If you look at the equation, it was f of x plus 2 f of 1 over x equals x squared plus 1. So that is 9 plus 1, which is 10. And similar to what we did, we're going to replace x by 1 third. We get f of 1 third plus 2 f of 3 equals 1 over 9 plus 1, which is 10 over 9. And from here, we can obtain f of 3 in the same fashion. So multiply the first one by negative 1, multiply the second one by 2, and add them up. You get 3 f of 3. When you multiply the second one by 2, you get 4 f of 3. The top one gives you minus f of 3, so that gives you 3 f of 3. And the 2 f of 1 thirds cancel. And then we get 20 over 9 from the bottom minus 10. And this can be easily evaluated. OK, so can we replicate this idea? If I look at uh, the original functional equation, this is what I have. Now, if I replace x by 1 over x, I would get f of 1 over x plus 2f of x equals 1 over x squared plus 1. And then all I need to do is to solve the system of equations. So that's pretty good. What is the reason I was able to solve the functional equation like this? The reason was when I applied 1 over x twice, I ended up with x. So this function phi of x equals 1 over x satisfies this property. If I apply phi after itself, then I would just get x. So we say this phi is a cyclic function. More mathematical term would be a function of finite order. So we can apply the same idea to the next one. However, that would be a little bit more complicated. So let's do that. The next one gives us x um, that is not 0 or 1, so we cannot plug in 0 or 1, <clears throat> but everything else can be substituted. And the equation is, functional equation is, f of x plus 3, f of x minus 1 over x equals x plus 1. 
So let's plug in x equals 2 to see what we get. That gives us f of 2 plus 3f of 1 half equals 2 plus 1. In other words, if I want to find f of 2, I need f of 1 half. Let's substitute x by 1 half. That gives me f of 1 half plus 3f of, that would give you 1 half minus 1 over 1 half equals 1 half plus 1, which is 3 halves. So that gives you f of 1 half plus 3f of, if you simplify that, you get negative 1 equals 3 halves. So we needed f of 2, and that ended up giving us f of 1 half, and f of 1 half gave us f of negative 1. So it's easy to again give up here at this point because we again need something else. So let's substitute x equals negative 1 and then see what we get. We get f of negative 1 plus 3f of negative 1 minus 1 over minus 1. So it was x minus 1 over x equals x plus 1. So this in fact is good news for us because this is f of negative 1 plus 3f of 2 equals 0. Now we have a system of equations. We have these three things. f of 2, f of negative 1, and f of 1 half. Three equations, three unknowns, and then we can solve. So now, how do we write it down as a solution? So I'll write down the solution to part A, and I will leave part B to you to work on. So we're going to look at uh, the functional equation. We're going to substitute x by 1 over x. So let x be a real number that is non-zero. Since 1 over x is not 0, we have f of 1 over x plus 2f of x equals 1 over x squared plus 1 multiplying this by 2 and subtracting the given equation we obtain so multiply this one by 2, subtract the given equation. We get 3f of x equals 2 over x squared plus 2 minus x squared plus 1. And that gives us f of x. f of x becomes 2 over 3x squared plus 1 third minus x squared over 3. Now, in order to complete the solution, we would have to also check that this function in fact does satisfy the functional equation. So note that f of x plus f of 1 over x is 2 over 3x squared plus a third minus x squared over a third over 3 plus 2 over 3 times x squared plus one third and then there was a two here I believe so I gotta have to multiply that by two and then minus one uh, two over three x squared and this gives us the two over three x squared cancel one third and two thirds become one and the other two add up to x squared so let me explain why we need to take that extra step. What we did was we assumed f is a function that satisfies the given functional equation. So we assumed f satisfies this functional equation. And then we ended up finding f of x. But it's possible that there is no function to begin with. There is no function satisfying the given functional equation to begin with. In that case, there would be no solution. In other words, the answer would be there are no functions satisfying this functional equation. So what we need to do is to make sure that the function that we found in fact does satisfy the functional equation. Okay, 
So in fact, the answer is this function that we found. Now for the next one, we are going to substitute x by x minus 1 over x. Okay, but in order to do that, we need to make sure that x minus 1 over x isn't 0 or 1. So let's first start with that. So let x be a non-zero or one number. Then x minus 1 over x is not 0 or 1. Since x minus 1 over x equals 0 implies x is 1 and x minus 1 over x equals 1 implies x minus 1 equals x which implies negative 1 is 0. Neither of these two is possible. Substitute x by x minus 1 over x, we get f of x plus, going back to see what we had, it was 3 times f of x minus 1 over x. So we're going to replace that x minus 1 over x plus 3 times f of x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x. That's equal to x minus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so we get f of x minus 1 over x plus 3 times, we're going to simplify this, we get, at the bottom we get x minus 1, and on top, if we clear the denominator of x, we get negative 1. Equals 2x minus 1 over x. Now, we would like to do this again. We want to replace x, x, x by x minus 1 over x. So we're going to do that again. So f of x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 3 times f of minus 1 over x minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 2 times x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x. This gives us f of, so we're going to simplify this one. The x cancels, we get what we had in fact up there, negative 1 over x minus 1 plus 3 f of minus x over minus 1 equals, and then on the other side we get 2x minus 2 and minus x over x minus 1. So we get three equations and three unknowns. This is one of the equations. This one is the other one. And the initial equation that was given, f of x plus 3 f of x minus 1 over x equals x plus 1 is our third equation. We take these three, we have a system of equations, and then we solve them. So let me know what you find as the answer. So I'm going to leave that to you to complete the solution. Let me tell you the main idea for these cyclic functions. So if you look at the function that we had at the beginning, 1 over x, when you apply it twice, you get phi of phi of x, you get x. If you take a function like this, phi of x equals 1 minus x, phi of phi of x becomes 1 minus 1 minus x, which is also x. This is also called a cyclic function. If you take the function that we just talked about, x minus 1 over x, then we saw above that phi of phi of phi of x, when you apply it three times, it ended up being x. If you look at this, this one is application of phi three times. This is also another cyclic function. So anytime you are dealing with functional equations, noticing that there is some cyclic function is quite helpful. That gives you more equations. And that way, you are able to get a system, and then you are able to solve the system. So that brings me to the end of this video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You will be able to find more videos like this on this channel. You should see videos on functional equations on this screen right now. Those are good practice for functional equations. So I will see you in the next video.